get that right? Ho Rider! Yo! I think I'm supposed to have a hammer, not so much a little hatchet. <laughs> Clash Royale is a highly addictive uh, mobile game that came out in 2016 that me and some friends got hooked on. And uh, I was working on coming up with episodes for the show here, and we just kept coming back to the Rage Potion as carried around by the Lumberjack. Jack in number. Uh, this is a sad axe for a lumberjack to carry. This is a nice axe, friends. I mean, look at it. But it's what I got today. It's my tiny little split and maul. Ho! Oh, that seems like a bad idea, because I licked this habit. I don't want to go back to the game. And, you know, I just feel like I'm really tempting fate, opening myself up to that again, to play in Clash Royale. I was never that good at it. I like the witch. I was a big fan of that witch deck. I liked witch and like, I think the goblin guys. I, I like fast, cheap decks. So I like to freeze them and stick them. I mean, I don't need to explain the game to you because there's some kind of footage of it being played on the camera. I mean, it's ho it'll hook you if you let it. You don't need to play it though. I'm not endorsing it. This is not a promoted episode. So we're clear. There's a really iconic drink in it, the Rage Potion, and it comes in a bottle exactly like this, and you can buy these on Amazon in the affiliate link below. And I, uh, I came up with a drink that I've decided is the Rage Potion. They don't give us really a whole lot to go on in the game. They don't give you like a flavor profile about what Rage Potion tastes like. In fact, actually, I don't even think you drink it. I think you throw it to the ground and it creates a cloud. But we're gonna drink ours, and maybe you'll make a cloud afterwards. Oh. So let's, let's make some Rage, Rage Potion. So the first thing I need actually for this is um, this stuff. This is actually powdered butterfly pea blossoms, which you've seen me use on the show a bunch of times. Um, you can buy this from Suncor Foods, available on Amazon in the affiliate link below. Uh, I actually like the powdered format a lot because it's way more predictable for working with uh, beverages and stuff like that. You don't need to prepare tea in advance, and for our purposes, this is gonna help us a lot. It is surprisingly difficult to get something to be just the right color. And I, I gotta say, like, I went through a lot of iterations to develop this stupid drink, this purple potion, because to get purple is actually hard. You know, red is pretty easy, blue is pretty easy. You think you put red and blue together, you're gonna get purple, you won't. You're gonna get like black green, I don't know why. It's different stuff. So um, I'm just gonna put a, ooh, that amount in there. It's potent stuff, we don't need a ton. And it does the trick. Uh, after that, I need one ounce of lemon juice. Yeah, the one thing I would say about Clash Royale is that, yeah, sure, you, you pay to win, but it's like pay to win the way Magic the Gathering is. It's a lot like a digital version of Magic the Gathering. There is real skill involved. There is real game mechanics involved. That's why it's engrossing. That's why you get hooked on it, I think. Um, but yeah, you, the, the more of your money you funnel into it, the better access you're gonna have and the better you do. Unfortunately, that is true. Of course, you could play free to play and, and never spend a dollar and do very well. Um, our former boss uh, always claimed that he never spent a dollar on it, but I know he was lying. I know he was. One half an ounce of simple syrup goes in. I want two ounces of vodka. In my, oh boy. Uh, put a little extra back in there. A little extra back in there. Just a little bit of extra back in there. I want a quarter ounce of this raspberry liqueur from St. George. You could use the Chambord here as well. If you use Chambord instead of the raspberry liqueur from St. George, you should cut your simple syrup either in half or remove it entirely because it's much sweeter. This is, I would say, almost unsweetened by my estimation. It just tastes like tart raspberries. It's wonderful. And uh, now I want two bar spoons of yellow chartreuse. Crazy combo, I know, I know. It works though. We're gonna shake this up now. serve this in a potion bottle for my potion. Put a funnel in that bottle and strain, strain, strain. Got 
Garnish with a cork. Um, and there we have Rage Potion. Yeah, we could. Um, I go back and forth on this. I think this drink isn't hurt by a little bit of seltzer. I don't know that it absolutely needs it, but a little in there. And there we have Rage Potion from Clash Royale. Let's have a sip of Rage. It's tasty. It's good. Oh yeah. It's very simple tart effervescent sort of a raspberry Collins thing going on. Um, it's a little bit sweet. The raspberry actually provides quite a bit of sour, but so does the lemon, of course. And the, the chartreuse, uh, that brings a lot of interesting character to it. Uh, a lot of peppery, black peppercorn kind of notes, a little bit of a tinge of honey. It's, it's an easy to drink drink, it's not spirit forward. And in fact, if you really want to make a low alcohol version of this, you could just scrap the vodka entirely and replace it with seltzer. And I think that it would be fine. You'd have um, a little bit, you know, by volume from the raspberry and the chartreuse, but for the most part, it would be nil. It would be, you know, less than a beer. It would be like 3% or something. I think when it's all said, though, I might be wrong. But yeah, no, that sounds about right. Probably be 5% at most if you, if you just scrap the vodka and switch the vodka for seltzer. And it would still be great. It's raspberry -y, lemony, tart, sweet, but not too, too sweet. Eminently drinkable. Good drink. Definitely not in my top 10 list of drinks. I thought that Rage was like the most important part of my deck usually because I would mob up. I was all about goblin mobs and then Rage. Oh, dude. Three in the front, three in the back. We're a goblin gang of six. And then if you get like the witch in there, a witch to do some ice control and then you storm them with the gobbles and then you hit them with the rage and pow, towers coming down first super fast oh yeah it's fun too it's got like a real it's got a lot going on in there and it looks cool and i think we nailed it for the look so and the reason this comes out purple actually by the way has really very little to do with the saint george raspberry liqueur we're actually just kind of sneaking that in it has to do with the interaction um, between this and the lemon juice that will turn it quite purple and it's a great way to get a purple thing because purple is actually not that unless you would just want to drink straight chambord it's, it's hard to get purple into a drink believe it or not it's not so easy to hit purple so i'm on twitter at how to drink i'm on instagram at how to drink i'm on patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink but the most important thing that you gotta know these days is that I'm on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Greg from HTD. I have not been playing Clash Royale on there. Maybe I will, but that would be just sad. You just see that I'm a terrible player. I'm not very good. Um, but maybe if you guys really demand it in the comments on this one, I'll get up there and I'll play some Clash and you can reawaken my crippling addiction to Clash Royale that way. I don't think it'll hit the same way though, because we're not sitting around an edit suite waiting for notes from a client. It's not as much fun to, you know, it's important. Gobbles, I love them gobbles. My wife always tells me that I dance like a goblin. I do a gobble dance. I'm a goblin dancer. I don't know. That'll be for the patrons. That's not gonna go out. All of my barware has been provided by Barfly Mixology Gear. If you like the tools I'm using on the show, uh, you will find an affiliate link in the pinned comment below. Check them out. You know, I've done other potions on the show and other drinks from video games and here's a few of them if you're interested uh you want to check those out oh man how come we haven't done that yet jekyll and hyde that's a good one put that on the list does he drink potion to turn him die <laughs> i don't know